Welcome again. We are now on to the last video of the series. And I would like to conclude the Sura method in this video. So to begin with, we started with Jose Silva, who was a ready technician, and who discovered this method on the Silva method. Who did this method research on it on his own children first? Saw their very exciting and positive results. He expanded this method to his relatives and then his near and dear friends and then to the whole world. Today students are promoting this method across the globe. What did Silva in his method teach us? He taught us a number of things. First was the different levels. The mind has different levels. The mind works at different levels. Mind initially is at the right side of what it is working, then the more of the left side works. And there is hardly a percentage of people where both the sides of the brain works. So what he discovered was that different, at a certain frequency, that is 10 second frequency that he sees, he is able to make use of both the sides of the brain, that too with full awareness. What does he call these levels? He terms them and he measures them with frequency vibrations at the seconds per second as the beta level, as the conscious mind, the alpha level, which is the subconscious mind, the theta level, which is the super, or rather the deep subconscious mind, and the delta level, which is the super conscious mind. And at every level of the mind, the human can function and do different, produce different results, okay. Next step was he developed certain techniques. Those techniques he used and he made use of those techniques at different levels, bringing the person at different levels of mind. So what are those techniques? Like the dream technique, dream control technique, the headache control technique, the three fingers technique, hand levitation technique, Glove anesthesia technique, the dream control technique, the mirror of the mind technique, the weight control technique, habit control technique, so many of them. These are just to name a few of them. We learn more on the mirror of the mind because that is one technique which I felt that is very, very effective, especially for problems for members. We all human beings have some or the other problems be it small, be it large, be it of a person or persons, some event or some experience, some trauma at some point of life. So we can thought of all these things by using this bit of the mind technique. And that's why I took it separately as a different video altogether. Explain to you the process. However, there's a disclaimer. Use these techniques only under the guidance of a trained person or if you are yourself a silver graduate. Now, as I told earlier, Napoleon Hill's quote, whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve. There is one more thing which I would like you to repeat is three times. So should you start repeating those things? That one beautiful thing which takes you to very high levels of your consciousness and thinking. It's like, it goes like this. I do not ask from divine providence for more riches but more wisdom with which to accept and use wisely the riches I received at birth in the form of the power to control and direct my mind to whatever ends I desire. God bless all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.